Welcome to video number 10 in the Prelude to Computer Science series. Uh, the topic is building a model of a computer. Recall that our model of a computer consists of uh, a CPU connected to some memories and um, a clock and uh, some a lot there's also some uh, control chips on there and all of that is actually the guts of the computer and it's connected to some external storage uh, and some input output devices like a keyboard and a monitor. Now we think of memory as a, a bunch of continuous contiguous storage cells. Contiguous means that they're all together uh, and that they are numbered consecutively. Uh, <laughs> the, in our imaginary computer we're using four bit memories so each memory contains four bits. In, uh, in real computers uh, modern computers they use 8-bit memories or what are called uh, one they store like what are called one byte so <coughs> um, you can see here on in the diagram we have uh, 16 memory locations numbered from 0 to 15 they're contiguous then that means that there's no gaps in them now in a real computer there can be gaps but for simplicity's sake we're going to consume we're going to assume that there's uh, contiguity uh, and we see that the the contents of memory location 0 is 1000 0, 0, 0, which is the binary uh, for 8 and the uh, contents of memory location 10 is just 0 the CPU uh, or central processing unit sometimes just called the processor uh, consists of two main parts the ALU and the CU the ALU is the arithmetic and logic unit and the CU is the control unit. The ALU does things like additions and it does uh, binary operations on um, on data. The control unit uh, parses instructions, or it interprets instructions uh, and marshals data around it, moves data around, makes sure, makes sure uh, that the uh, data moves to the place that needs to be in order to be operated on in the right sequence. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, internal processing is just making sure that things get to where they need to be when they need to be there. So a CPU has uh, what are known as registers on, on them. A uh, CPU or processor has j special purpose registers that uh, generally have a very specific purpose and use inside uh, the processor. Some registers the user doesn't even have control over, uh, at least not directly, like the instruction register. Uh, the program counter always points uh, to a location in memory of the next instruction to be executed. The instruction register contains the actual uh, instruction that is currently being executed. The flags registers uh, uh, contain the result of uh, mathematical operations that were done on the previous, uh, uh, previously done on the uh, on the general purpose registers. Now, in this example, I have general purpose registers A and B. Um, sometimes you might only have one general purpose register. Some processors have 16. Uh, generally there's a couple of them I think and uh, and what you can do with them is you can load memory uh, the contents of memory into them you can store the contents of them back to memory you can load general values into them you can shift the bits around in them uh, you can copy from one register to another so it, it does it can do more than a memory location generally with me with regular memory locations on, that are on a memory chip you can only read from them and write their uh, contents back to them so let's just look at the program counter for a moment here the program counter or the PC always points to the next instruction in this case here in the diagram we can see that the contents of the PC is one zero that's a binary one zero which is equal to a decimal two so that means it points to memory location number two we look over at memory and we see the that the contents of memory location number two is one zero one now there's a, an implied leading zero on that because again we're using a four bit uh, every, our, our, we're using a four 
bit uh, computer here, uh, and our memory uh, is in nibbles and not in bytes. So that's actually 0101. So the program counter, now in this case, that may or may not be an actual instruction. If it is an actual instruction, then, then the computer will uh, eventually get around to executing that, that instruction. If it's not a legal instruction, then the program will produce an error. Now when you're building a computer, uh, one of the most important decisions that you're going to make is what processor you're going to use to, to build that computer with. Um, and uh, the uh, when you get a particular type of processor, the the uh, company that manufactured that processor will tell you uh, what instructions that uh, comp that processor understands, and uh, what they um, and, and what ha and exactly how they work. Now, uh, another word for we call those opcodes or instruction codes or just instructions. And the general format of an opcode is either just, it could just be the opcode itself, or it could be an opcode followed by some operands. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Now, in, again, our processor is a 4-bit processor. And our manufacturer tells us that there are uh, only four commands in this computer. Uh, if it's four zeros, then it's a halt instruction. That just makes the processor stop processing. 1000 zero, means load uh, a value, an immediate value, into register A. Uh, store says uh, store the contents of register A to the memory location that is specified. And a 1010, or an add code, adds the contents of a, the specified memory location to the register. Now we're going to go. Th we're going to write a little program here that will make use of these uh, opcodes that the uh, that the uh, uh, processor uh, has available to it. Now we're going to write a very simple program here uh, to add two numbers together. We're going to add the numbers two and three, and we're going to store the result in memory location fourteen. And uh, here we see a copy of that program. Uh, it consists of uh, uh, 11 bytes, uh, and uh, <coughs> so and the the, the program uh, these are you'll notice excuse me 11 nibbles, and that the nibbles uh, the first uh, 10 nibbles are paired together, and that's because the first nibble is an instruction in the first column of nibbles those are always instructions, and then in the second column of nibbles what we see are the operands that go with the instructions. If an operand, if that instruction uses an operand, so the very first instruction is uh, one zero zero zero, and if you stop the video now and move back to the previous slide, you'll see that that corresponds to look to the command that tells it to load register A with a value, and then the in the second column of the first line we see zero zero one zero. That's the decimal representation of the number two. So this line right here is interpreted uh, together to mean load the value 2 into register A. Uh, line number 2, on the other hand, 1001, is the instruction that says store the contents of A someplace. And the second, the, uh, in column 2, we see 1101. That's the uh, binary representation of the number 13. So store the contents of register A into memory location uh, 13. And we'll go on uh, this a little bit more uh, uh, in the next. OK, we've run out of time. We're going to continue this uh, in video number 11 uh, coming up next.